The first of 20 F-35 fighter jets arrived in Burlington last month, but it was this afternoon that they held the official welcoming ceremony that brought dozens to our area. NBC 5's Zuri Hoffman caught up with today's guests and the pilots that made that inaugural flight. It's an aircraft in the league of its own, F-35 fighter jets. They landed here for the first time just last month. The 158th fighter wing here in Vermont the first unit to ever fly the newest aircrafts and hundreds of people were at the guard base Saturday to welcome them and to also see one of the planes up close and personal. That first day when we first flew them in, very mission oriented, mission focused. Let's get the jets here, let's get them here safely. And today is about being able to kind of say, you know, hooray and, and do some clapping and, and everybody have a, have a good time. Lieutenant Colonel Nate Graber was one of two pilots chosen to fly the first of 20 jets to its new home in the Green Mountain State. Oh, it was incredible. Um, every pilot and squadron was vying for the position to be one of the first two, so I was just extremely lucky to, to be able to do it. As for the plane itself, an aircraft with a single seat, single engine. Well, the F-35 is transformational in terms of the information it captures. So when it flies over the, the battle space, all the data systems on the airplane really act like a sponge and capture a lot of information. More powerful than the retired F-16s. An aircraft many will say these Green Mountain boys are more than deserving of. Um, there's only one first, uh, and we're the first. So it, it just, for me, it says so much about our airmen. To continue the work of protecting the nation. It's because of what we've done as Green Mountain boys over the last 73 years. In South Burlington, Zuri Hoffman, NBC5 News.